Darrow of Sexual Magic, Queen of Swords. Okay, so as you guys know, this deck, um, it's very different than the traditional deck, and since a lot of people are, you know, using this deck lately, they're doing a great, great job in doing it intuitively, but the meaning that was intent seems like to be a little bit, uh, lost, so I decided to just try to you know create this resource here based on the little guide that comes with uh, this deck um, and go and explain to you guys every card a little bit so the queen of swords on this deck is here doing some kind of black i meant uh, not black yeah is that black magic okay uh it's actually a magic of the black candle and appears that is to actually push someone undesirable away okay so this is actually what this card really really means by their guidebook um, it says the magic of black candle solitude is not death an, an, an undesired partner must be sent away even at the cost of breaking your own heart i definitely thought this was confusing because on the guidebook because okay if it's breaking your own heart how can that be undesirable right it's kind of harsh also um this is what it was on the on the guidebook you see the magic of the black candle solitude is not death uh, so, English is not my first language, but I believe that this A before undesired should have an N, right? Un undesired because it's two vocals, but whatever. So, it just makes me question about this guidebook. So, I don't blame the others just going by the um, intuition on this deck because of, you see... I don't know. I who am I? Obviously, I make a lot of English mistakes because it's not my first language. But who am I to judge this wrong grammar? But but it does make me lose a little bit of credibility because it doesn't make too much sense, right? A undesired partner must be sent away, even at a cost of breaking your own heart. Hmm. Yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know what is on the guidebook and how I am actually going, I am reading this card. So when Queen of Swords shows up, to me makes a little bit sense uh, because what I'm trying to do is because, you know, as we know, the Queen of Swords is kind of a single chick anyways. She had her heart broken on the, on the traditional deck and she doesn't like bullshit she cuts you know she cuts bs off she likes the truth so because of that i'm able to connect a little bit about the undesired love be sent away so you know at first you may think that she's longing this person or being platonically um, in love with them but now because we understand you know what this black candle magic is this seems like a heart right here too right like like here like being pinned i don't know so um it makes sense that she's actually probably trying to push this guy away right um it's pretty interesting though um anyways this tarot deck was created more for magic but again even on the book it doesn't explain what the magic is it's funny because it refers to the great book of sexual magic but i look all over the place for that great book and i never found it they don't say who the author of the book is so if any of you guys know please leave in the comments here and yeah this is what the queen of swords is all right on this deck oh bye the only resource that we're able to grab if you know any other resource about this tarot 
please let me know because I think it's an amazing tarot uh, deck because there's so all the all the all the cards has not all of them but I mean 99% I would say the masculine and the feminine energy interacting so it's very great for love readings I absolutely love but we are doing this all intuitively right now and it's always good to have some guidance we're having to do all intuitively because you know it again there is not a lot of um literature about it but the readers that i've been seeing are doing a great job on doing it you know again intuitively but they're so different from each other though it's always good to have some kind of guidance even if you are being spiritually guided to say it differently but that is a choice it's always good to ha go back to the re reference right and having like like the the traditional tarot deck has right so yeah anyway so if any of you guys know about it let me know i would love to hear thank you bye bye